first and foremost, I mean, it's the kind of the backstop of the entirety of the, the Air Force. Um, uh, this has been articulated, I think, uh, most meaningfully in the, in the last couple of years where we really had to sit back and, and reassess whether or not we should be doing the nuclear mission, like what, what are we doing it for? Um, and uh, I think, you know, the consensus is that without it, you know, we couldn't do basically everything else that we do as a force and, and more generally the DOD at large. With nuclear weapons and nuclear deterrence theory, other than the United States' use of nuclear weapons in 1945, there have been no uses of nuclear weapons, yet we expect deterrence to work. And so it all comes down to the credibility of, of our threat, the threat to use nuclear weapons. And you know, the individuals sitting in silos, individuals you know, in, uh, on deployment in, in nuclear submarines, you know, ready to fly nuclear bombers, you know, they, they all serve a critical part of that signaling mechanism that we do on a, a, an ever, a never ending basis. We are, we are doing this 24 seven. Um, people have often said that we haven't used nuclear weapons since 1945. Um, General Hyden at Stratcom and others have been very keen to, to point out that no, that is in fact not the case. We use our nuclear weapons every day. That constant never ending stream of, of, of credible signaling that happens as a component of nuclear deterrence theory. And we fully expect that we don't have to actually demonstrate our resolve to use them because of the fact that we do have them sitting there and they are training, they're ready to go at any given time. Um, so every year we take a cohort of 13 individuals that are also students with NACSE and try to you know, turn them into the knowledge leaders, the subject matter experts on deterrence in uniform. In addition, uh, on campus we have a Center for Strategic Deterrence Studies that also focuses on these issues. The goal is that every airman in the force, in the Air Force, will have some at least basic understanding of you know, what nuclear weapons are, what they can and cannot do, and why do we have them. But even if you're a bomber pilot, or you're a mechanic, or you're a nurse, you, you know why we have a strategic deterrence um, and, the, and the role that it plays um, in, our, in our overall mission set.